Okay, so I'm just going to briefly talk about the five A chords you need for Grade 1 Rock School Guitar Exam. I've got a few students who are struggling with them, so I decided to do this video uh, in which I'm going to build the chords slowly. This is a C major, yeah, finger 1 on the B string, fret 1, finger 2 on the D string, fret 2, finger 3 on the A string, fret 3. And then you strum the top five strings and try and double check by picking one at a time just to see if you're pressing properly if you're not getting any you know muted or muffled sort of notes the next one is the A major A major chord fingers 1, 2 and 3 all piled up together on the 2nd fret yeah finger 1 goes to the A yep 2nd fret of the I mean E 2nd fret of D string finger 2 is playing the 2nd fret of the G string and finger 3 is playing a C sharp on the 2nd fret of the B string and again we strum all five and then pick. Oops, that's what I'm talking about. It's better. So C, A, G. A bit stretchy. Some people struggle a bit with this. Beginners might find it a bit of a stretch. Uh, you can do finger four or three there, it's up to you. So here we go slowly. Finger one goes to the B, second fret of the A string. Finger two plays a G on the bottom E string and finger 3 plays a G on the top E string. You can use finger 4 if you like or finger 3 it's entirely up to you. Uh, and here we can strum all six strings. E, E major chord, finger 1 playing a G sharp on the G string fret 1, finger 2 plays a B on the 2nd fret of the A string, finger 3 plays an E on the 2nd fret of the D string and you can hit all of them and again and D D major finger 1 goes to an A on the 2nd fret of the G string finger 2 plays an F sharp on the top E string and finger 3 plays that D there on the 3rd fret of the B string and here we probably best thing to do is just to hit the top 4 strings you can play the bass inversion on the A string, but no, 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 forget about what I just said, play just the top four, and uh, it's, yeah, you can't go wrong, yeah, and then, so these are the major chords, there are three uh, minor ones, and um, they would be E minor, E minor is kind of like an E major, and all you've got to do is lift off that one finger there, and uh, yeah, I mean, you can do it like that if you like, doesn't really matter that much. Well, all we need to do is one finger on the B of the second fret of the A string, another finger on the E fret two of the D string, and here you can strum all six strings. The bass note is the low E, and that's your E minor, A minor. It's kind of like a knee that's gone up a string. You know, it's the same shape as the E major, but one string up. Finger one plays a C there. Finger two plays an E on the 2nd fret of the D string and finger 3 playing an A on the 2nd fret of the G string. Uh, and there you go, this is an A minor. I'm playing from the 5th string, yeah, all 5. And then here, you can think of it as a C, you know, it's easy to shift from C to A minor. It's just a one finger movement. I'm keeping these two where they are and finger 3 just spins around and you go from C to A minor. I don't know why I'm saying this. It's no way you'll be required to do it at the exam. But anyway, uh, and a D minor. Fret 1, top string, F, finger 1. Finger 2 plays an A on the G string, and finger 3 plays a D on the second fret of the B string. And again, just like the D major. I suggest you play from the fourth string and just go. And um, yeah, that's it. These are the eight chords you need. So if you can just practice them and try to be aware of what you're doing, just don't just do them mechanically. Try to say to yourself, "This is an A major. This is an A minor." Because what we're looking for is to memorize and, and uh, get that kind of instant recall. You know, you see the chord on a piece of paper. And bang, D. All right, D minor, D, A minor, yeah, etc. 
So just try and, and test yourself with, with random new chord progressions. You write them in a different order and then just, just try, try and follow that. Yeah? So I'll just briefly go through them again. C, G, A, D, E, E minor, A minor, D minor. Mind you, every time I say C, it's actually C major. You know, all these chords that just have a letter or just a note name, we are implying the word major just for the sake of economy of, of breath or paper or spit for some reason. Uh, some students get confused with that, you know, oh, this is a C, so what's a C major? And it's the same thing. Whenever we play this G, this is actually a G major. We're just too lazy to say major every time. Thank you very much.